Hi guys, welcome to another beer review. Got to keep it quiet, it's a little bit late. Um, well, I'll say that, it's only five past eleven. But uh, I thought I'd have a nightcap and uh, we're delving once again into the Miklik Beer Club box. Um, so, as per usual, the referral link is down below. And today we're voyaging over to uh, the Seven Island Brewery. And this is a bottle of the Moctezuma, Moctezuma, I'm not sure how it's pronounced. And this is an Imperial Stout clocking in at 13% ABV. And uh, lighting is not doing this label justice. Lovely metallic golden. See, is that like. See, I'm not sure if that's like Incan or. Um, I'm not sure what sort of art style that is, but it's absolutely gorgeous. I love how intricate it is and a beautiful uh, colour used on this. So, Motsuika was the emperor who greatly uh, contributed to the Aztec Empire. Mm. Should have should have instantly recognised uh, the Aztec artwork um, that thrived until the Spanish conquest. He successfully ruled and expanded the empire from 1440 to 1453. We named our beer after Noctezuma to show how our big, bold and full of darkness uh, Imperial Stout can rule over the dark beers across the whole craft beer world. So uh, a modest write-up, I think you'll agree. Um, and I did actually have a beer uh, from these from a previous Michelob beer called Box, but I just ended up reviewing, uh, just drinking it. I think I think I was like recording the review, but got frustrated and just stopped and just drank it and enjoyed it. So these guys are out of uh, Estonia, and uh, this is actually brewed by uh, Suri Brewing Estonia. So they may be a traditional brewery with uh, the Seven Island, or Seven Island might just be um, a line of beers that they do. I've not done any research on the brewery, probably should have, but um, yeah, a 13% Imperial Stout. Mm. And it doesn't actually go into much detail, there it does clearly does uh, no it doesn't actually give you too much it just says barley mm. oats and malt and uh, getting annoying vibrations mm. on the phone again uh, that's becoming another running gag with uh, my videos it would seem so yeah nice uh, easy drinking nightcap I think you'll all agree oh fuck off phone I'm not even getting like notifications on the screen, it's just my phone, so it's going, mm, mm, mm. Anyway, let's see what we get with this one. Oh, it's got a nice glug, and look how slick that is looking in the glass. Uh, quite active carbonation. I'll give this one a lot, looks like chocolate milk. Oh, look at that. Look at that head. Beautiful, dark, intense looking beer there. Oh, really quite carbonated. So beer in the glass. And uh, I'm going to hazard a guess and say that is pretty much jet black. Um, head dissipated pretty much instantly. But yeah, that looks so nice, doesn't it? Uh, even though this beer um, that I got this glass with was pretty shit. I do love this snifter love these styles of glasses <laughs> that smells good you get a little bit of booziness there it has that sort of um cooking yeah. sherry aroma to it there's a little bit of like dessert liqueur and i can't think of which one specifically there's a little bit of booziness there yeah, yeah. it's jammy smelling good though so inviting even has a little bit of um like hot chocolate aroma to it i mean it's not like permeating from the glass oh actually it is it's i don't know it's weird it's not like really in your face but when you get a good sniff very robust on the nose can a nose be robust 
I don't know. These are say this is smelling pretty damn good. So let's give it a taste. Cheers. Wow. God, it's probably going to stain my skin. That is so silky smooth without being too overly heavy or gloopy. So velvety. And that, that rush of carbonation that you got when I was pouring it, you, you, know, you might think that that might translate into the actual drinking experience, but it doesn't. It's not flat, but it's got a gentle carbonation. It's oily, it's viscous. Mm. It does have the, the taste of a slightly muted cooking sherry, actually. Very dark fruit forward, I'd say. Nice gentle roastiness there, subtle bitterness on the back end. Smells more boozy than it actually tastes. You are getting the alcohol warmth and a little bit of um, like an alcoholesque flavour in there. But I mean, it's thirteen percent. What would you expect? But mm. this is another one of those beers where I should have kept this for Christmas. This is so wintry. It's so warming, not only in terms of a genuine warmth, but also. You feel comfortable and feel cosy drinking it. That's really, really damn good. That's such a satisfying sipper. Although you could probably drink this a bit too fast and get way too carried away. So sticky, my fingers. <laughs> Where I've been wiping my mouth are even sticky. It leaves a lovely texture uh, on your palate and on the roof of your mouth. Mm. Oh, that's so nice. I've not had an Imperial Stout that's tasted like that for a long time. Mm. Yeah, this is damn good. Definitely, definitely a perfect night nightcap sort of beer. So like classic flavours, classic, classic flavours. I know there are still obviously breweries brewing like classic imperial stouts, but there is that big like focus on the pastry sort of stuff with big like desserty, cakey, pancakey, nutty sort of um synthetic elements. But this is just honest brewing. And it's just hitting all the spots right now. It really is. I can't think of a I can't think of any faults or anything that I'd change to fit my own preferences, even in like a purely subjective way. I can't pick out any holes. I really, really can't. Um, you know, sometimes you'll have a beer that makes you dead excited and you're like jumping around and stuff like that. But I find the best sort of beers are the ones that just make you go, oh, oh, nice, relaxed, just easy going. Just sink back into your comfy armchair on a autumn winter night. Perfect log cabin beer. And if you like sort of dark fortified, well, dark and sweet fortified wines, dessert liqueurs, that sort of thing. And like really dark fruits, dark berries, plums, figs, that sort of stuff. I think you're going to really, really enjoy this one. That is absolutely wonderful. It really, really is. Mmm. Don't think it is jet black because if you can see, you get some nice sort of um, 
reddy oaky hues to it but when it's all there you've just got a big block of black and it has stained the glass slightly as well yeah I want more imperial stouts like this just nothing too in your face nothing too out there just something simple refined but it's still robust and full full of character it's fantastic it really really is fantastic I don't know what I change so <clears throat> I've not done this for a little while it's a 10 out of 10 it's a 10 out of 10 beer I am just so thoroughly enjoying this right now. So that is the uh, Seven Island Moctezuma. I, get, I know I'm not pronouncing that correctly. And I know the uh, the lighting in this uh, situation isn't showcasing this artwork off at all. But that's an absolute triumph. It really, really is. 10 out of 10. So if you've tried it. Let me know your thoughts opinions down below. If you tried anything else by this brewery, I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions. Uh, check out the brewery, of course. And if this example has piqued your interest, then uh, I would highly recommend. I know, you know, I do this every time I review a beer that comes with the Mickler Beer Club box. But, you know, I'm not getting paid for this. Sometimes I get a little bit of a kickback if someone uses that referral link down below. But even if nobody did... I've not had a reason to cancel my subscription. Sometimes you will get some beers that just don't do anything for you. Um, I don't know if I'll have reviewed the, uploaded the review yet, but um, there was a, like a, a blend of a cider and a black currant, I oh know, a porter, black currant cider, and um, aged in like used wine barrels that they they did which really did not do anything for me um so you will get some you will get some like quite generic beers uh every now and then but you know i've got to try stuff from alvarado streets uh bearded iris michael baghaven uh the alchemist the veil michael new york michael san diego although those are a little bit easier to get hold of now and, you know, I've just been very satisfied. So uh, that's my public service announcement. Not funded by Mikola. Um, so, yeah, if you are interested, the link is down below. If not, fair dues. What more can I say? Anyway, I'm off to uh, watch a bit more YouTube slump into bed. And uh, dream... Going to tell you what I'm going to dream about, but because you never know, do you? Dreams are random, you can't control dreams. What the fuck am I talking about? Thanks for watching, guys, and uh, yeah, I hope you'll join me next time for a, another beer review. See you guys later, and uh, yeah, you all take care. Cheers.